Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got another balancing update fix from BSG on Arena, second one in about three days now. So no fluff, we'll just get right into it and show you what they did. This is right on the website and I'll put a link down below if you wanna go look at it yourself. Uh, but pretty straightforward on uh, all of the maps, they adjusted the time it takes to cap the flag. On Equator, it was bumped from seven to eight seconds, Air Pit seven to 10, Bay 5, 7 to 10, Bull 7 to 10, and Sawmill 7 to 12. It's a pretty good change. Seven seconds on a lot of these maps is really hard to cover the distance. You might not even be camping, but you're looking for somebody. The flag pops. You're just in an unlucky spot, and it takes more than seven seconds to cover the distance, even if you sprint for it. So this gives you a little bit extra time to counter somebody who just got lucky and was at the right place at the right time. After that, we have all the kit changes, but we'll do those on screen here with the presets. And the first one we're gonna do is on CQB. It was the Calamari kit. Um, they said they added the AFAC. Now, I haven't looked at this kit yet, so I don't know if this had meds before or not. So I don't know if this replaced or if it had no meds at all. If you know, let me know down in the description. But either way, it now has a full AFAC on top of the Propital and the other good heals. This is actually one of the better setup healing uh, kits in the game right now with uh, all the utility that you have from it. Next up is Tactical um in the cqb tree as well um right here now this is actually a pretty big change uh before this had green tracer which wasn't terrible at this tier it just meant you pretty much had to hit your headshots which they made a lot easier by adding a red dot to this on the last balance change but now they modified modified this to uh luger cci so you do give up a little bit of penetration, but it's not that much with the green tracer, not enough to really matter, I don't think. But now you have the 50 rounders of this flesh damage, um, higher damage ammo. Don't know how this is gonna work out, to be honest with you. The green tracer had a recoil reduction. So the MP5 is a laser, absolute laser cannon with it. Plus it kind of looks cool shooting green tracers. But if you wanna go for leg meta or something else, this gives you another alternative to that. So it just kind of remains to be seen how much more effective this is gonna be. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is a buff. Now, next up is Scout's tree. We got a ton of changes in here. Um, the first one's gonna be on Runner. Uh, not gonna matter to a whole lot of people. Um, you did get 20 run rounders versus 17 rounders here on the fully automatic Glock. It does help a little bit, not a huge change. This is a pretty tough kit to get through. You're usually getting carried or you gotta pick up somebody else's gun um, uh, to get anywhere with it. But is technically a buff so the very next kit is the plantain kit uh that they changed this is the very one of the very first tier one kits on the scout tree uh this used to have a vog and an f1 uh they removed the f1 so now all you have is a vog pretty good balance having two grenades is pretty strong is actually very strong in arena um because you can throw one right out the gate and then you have one to use a little bit later um once people think it's safe and the grenades have been thrown you can really catch people off guard with that so they did remove that it's just the uh, the one vog now after that is the Saboteur, which is a very common class a lot of people know about, the PP-19 with uh, PVP. It didn't have pain pill uh, ability in any way, shape or form. So once you got legged, you were just gimping around uh, unless you could find some on somebody else. But they did add a two out of four use analogan painkillers to this, which is actually a pretty substantial buff for this kit. I'm um, interested to see how many people are able to take advantage of that and really roll with that. After this, we get a, a huge buff to the Reaper. This kit is an absolute monster now. They switched it from a TV-110 to a CBC. So not only from a pretty good class four, but to probably one of the best five class armors out there. They changed the mags from 30 rounders to 40 rounders. They did take one mag away, but with the 40 rounders, um, you actually have more ammo than they took now than that you did before uh, than the 30 they took away. Uh, it is APSX too, which is an extraordinarily powerful ammo at 53 damage. It does have issues one tapping the head, even with helmets or not. Um, some issues there with just how the game mechanics work at 35 damage. Uh, but you get a ton of stims. An SJ6 and a trim it all means that you can run around. You're basically run around fucking forever with this thing. Um, and then the blue blood acts as your uh, bleed stopper for 60 seconds to it. It stops bleeds for 60 seconds totally. Um, so even if you get six bleeds, you hit this, you're gone. And then a full grizzly, which does everything. But grizzlies are really slow on healing. Um, as far as the animation is concerned or stopping bleeds or fixing breaks, uh, still pretty good. So a uh, very, very, very powerful kit. I'm on my way to it. Still a little ways from getting it. Um, should be pretty fun to run though. Now, one more in the, I'm kind of jumping ahead on the list, but I want to get the scout out of the way. They, they did some adjustments to the flanker. Um, 
all they did was add an EOTech. So you used to have this, this is, it was just the same, but now it's having to deal with the flip up. If you want to just go straight with this, you can throw that site on the ground and put this on, or maybe give the site to somebody else that doesn't have one, um, entirely depending on what you want to do on your team, but it's there available for that now. We'll jump over to the Marksman real quick and get that done on the Cowboy. All that was done here is this used to have an EOTech uh, with a magnifier on it. Now it is a Trigicon um, with a uh, hollow on top. Uh, so that's all it that was changed here. Don't know if that's more or less effective. Um, it's more zoom, but that is kind of a bad thing in Arena. Forex is pretty powerful on every map except the uh, uh, some parts of Air Pit or on the Woods Map Sawmill. Um, but you do have a red dot still, so that is that is kind of nice. But I think the EOTech might have been better. It, it's personal preference on if you think this is a buff or a, uh, a nerf entirely on the balancing side of things. Now, the last of these are all going to be on the Assault tab. The first one we'll look at is the Eraser. All they did here is they changed the Pain Pill to an Augmentin, which just means it's a little bit faster to use um, and uh, doesn't last as long as I, I think there was either a, a Golden Star or a Vaseline on this beforehand, um, but it's uh, it's an Augmentin now. Next up is the Ferro Kit. It's in the same tree, just a little bit higher up. This is that AK-74N that shoots 7 and 40. You'll run into quite a bit. Uh, what they did here is they changed this from having an EOTech with a magnifier, the HSS, to just the, um, I forget which one this is. It's the Tan EOTech. So now there's no more sight on this. There were a lot of people using this as kind of a quasi DMR on uh, some of the longer range maps, but I think that's why they did that. They took that away to take that ability away from this, this kit because um, it was pretty powerful with that. Next up is the mouse kit, um, which is all the way down at the bottom again. And for here, all they did was add a UH-1. You still have the, the EOTech with the magnifier, but now you have a UH-1 if you want to kick that off and just run with a, a hollow for the match. Now, the last one is a weird one. I don't know how they're making changes over here, but they are. Um, it was the Borealis, which is the very top, 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 top tier kit of all of them. You have to be elite to have it unlocked. It costs a bunch of money. Um, and again, all they did was add a EOTech here. Um, but they did change the site to a um, LCAN. This was an HHS one before, I believe. Um, so they changed it to an LCAN, but then they also gave it a EOTech in the pocket. So I don't know that anybody's even played this outside of like uh, TwitchCon or some of the other stuff because uh, you don't have this kit. Nobody is this high rank yet. So that's just kind of, not sure how they're balancing that, but they did make a change to it that I'd point out to you. But that's all of them. That's all the updates for this balancing patch and uh, the things they made. So if they do any more, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you stay informed on what they're changing for when you do get into Arena. I know some of you still are not in. Sorry about that, but we're still going to do the updates for those that are. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Wish you the best of luck in your raids and your matches in Arena. And we'll see you in Tarkov.